cases third case is when object is beyond center of curvature but not at infinity if you consider if you place an object beyond center of curvature that means beyond c like this this image is placed beyond center of curvature then what will be the image c draw standard rays like this this is one standard ray passes parallel to the principal focus and strikes the concave mirror after reflection it will passes through principal focus next another fundamental ray passes through the center of curvature after reflection it will pass in the same path these two rays are met this point met at this point then at this point the image is formed so what is the image here this is the image okay so what are the characteristics of this image and if you place the object beyond center of curvature the image formed between principal focus and the center of curvature so what are the characteristics here the first one is it is real image and it is inverted it is inverted next the third one is it is diminished it is diminished it is look like diminished it's not clear next fourth one is it is formed between c and f between c and f between center of curvature and principal focus these are the characteristics of the image when the object is beyond center of curvature okay next the fourth one is when the object is placed at center of curvature of a concave mirror that means object is placed at the center of curvature see this object is placed at center of curvature then what will be the image where the image is formed see draw standard rays like this this is one standard ray travels parallel to the principal axis next after reflection it will passes through the principal focus like this and draw another fun standard ray this is the another standard ray and after reflection it will passes like this it will passes parallel to the principal axis next where these things are met these things are met these two rays are met at this point so here the image is formed this is the image now what are the characteristics of this image the image is real it is real and it is inverted this is inverted next the third one is this is the same size of the object the image the size of the image is same size of the object same size of the of the object and it is formed at c if you place the object at c then the image also formed at c okay these are the characteristics of the image next fifth one is when the image is in between the center of curvature and principal focus see this is the image placed here it is between center of curvature and principal focus then what will be the image see draw standard rays like this this is a standard ray passes parallel to the principal axis and after reflection it will passes to the principal focus next draw another fundamental ray this is appears to passes from center of curvature see actually this is the line after reflection it will passes through the same path and it appear to passes through the passes through the center of curvature okay 
so where these two things are met these two things are made at this point here the image is formed so this is the image okay so the image is found beyond the center of curvature okay this is found beyond the center of curvature and what are the characteristics of this image it is also a real image and it is inverted and inverted next what is the shape of this image it is enlarged it is enlarged and it is found beyond c beyond c beyond center of curvature here the image is enlarged okay when the object is placed between center of curvature and principal focus the image is formed beyond center of curvature and it is enlarged these are the characteristics of the image next when the object is at principal focus see this is the object placed at principal focus then what will be the image see draw standard rays like this this is parallel passes parallel to the principal principal axis after reflection it will pass through the principal focus like this then and draw another standard ray like this okay this is travel towards the mirror after reflection it will pass through the same path and it will appears to pass through the center of curvature then where these two rays are met these are met at infinity okay so the image is formed at infinity okay the image is formed at infinity here we can't observe the image so what are the characteristics of this image the image is real it is also real inverted highly enlarged it is highly enlarged or magnified the image is magnified here and it is formed at infinity before the concave mirror in front of the concave mirror at infinity before the concave mirror in these six cases the images are formed in front of the concave mirror in this case it is different from remaining six cases here when the object is in between the principal focus and the pole that means it is in between principal focus f and pole p c this is placed in between f and p next if you draw standard rays like this this is a standard ray travel parallel to the principal axis after reflection it will passes like this passes through the principal focus next draw another ray like this this is another ray it will strikes the mirror and reflects in the same direction and passes through the center of the curvature and where the image is formed if you extend these rays beyond the mirror like this these two are met at this point okay so here the image is formed so the image is formed beyond the concave mirror this is the image this is the object and this is the mirror here the image is formed beyond the concave mirror this case is different from remaining six cases what are the characteristics of the image it is virtual image it is not real image virtual image because it is formed beyond the mirror okay next it is looks like erect it is look like erect it is not clear it is erect next it is diminished to a point it is magnified it is also magnified beyond the mirror 
behind the concave mirror. In this case, the virtual image is formed. Okay.